Hey everybody, Chris here in this video. We're going to be talking about this retracement. All of the gains that we had from the other day have been lost. And ah, some it's hurt some cryptos more than others. We'll be talking about that. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell. You can be notified when my new videos come out as well as when I do live streams. And here we are. Uh, red across the crypto market today. Why is this happening? Well, I don't see any real news other than that's just how crypto goes in the bear market. We were talking about that on uh, Wednesday on the live stream and that a lot of people were all excited about this, this big rise in crypto. And during the live stream, I wasn't buying crypto. I did not buy crypto up here. And I said it. I was like, you know, guys, I think we're going to be able to get better prices and we're just going to wait here. And so that's what I did. So before the big run, uh, Tuesday morning, I bought into our Chris Pax DCA portfolio. I bought in down here. We had the big run kind of dipped down close to six and a half cents was going back up and that's when that's when we were live right here on wednesday and i was like you know i'm gonna wait until it goes back down so here's where i bought just earlier today brought back more dogecoin this is the dogecoin chart here bought more dogecoin right here but also added more bitcoin added some ethereum added algorand i added solana uh, as well as Sheeb. Sheeb was, well, Sheeb, I, I actually had purchased a little bit earlier up here, didn't wait for the full dip because uh, I, because I was, it had already matched where it was before, where we had bought Sheeb before the big run. And when it came down to that level, that's where I had the limit order set and it hit right there. Actually dropped a little lower, but you know, you don't always get exactly the lows, but on Doge, I did hit it pretty well there for Doge. So that's all in the portfolio. If you want to find out more about the Crispex DCA portfolio, tune in Friday. I'll be on live Friday night. It'll be about 10 o'clock uh, Eastern time. Uh, it'll be a late night stream that I'm doing on Fridays, which is a lot of fun. It's more laid back and uh, we get into a lot of more interaction about different things going on. We want to know what you guys think as well ask me questions we'll talk about what's going on so join in on the live stream on friday night so we had some good news for doge though elon musk again we've been talking all week about what is elon going to be going to do with x app formerly known as twitter with specifically regards to cryptocurrency and we talked on the live stream, there was this X News Daily saying X might be looking at launching an X coin for creators, receiving coins, users can accumulate diamonds or whatever, which will be converted to real money and creator payouts. So that was this, that was this former thing we had looked at a number of months ago. Uh, X News had brought this back. And what did Elon say? No. Elon said no. That's right. Because... He's been talking about cryptocurrency on the X app, not this fake coin or diamond thing or anything like that. He wants it to be real money, real currency being used on the platform, which of course helps Doge. Doge on the integrated X app. That is what we're talking about. That is where we think it's going to be going could doge still be considered for this role that's what we're excited about and i think maybe that's why dogecoin didn't drop as far as doge was before the big run on tuesday where bitcoin has actually dropped all the way down to where it was eth as well algo even lower because algo just keeps getting pummeled just poor Algorand. Solana down below $20 for Solana now. Uh, that's pretty tough. So, and of course, Sheep, we just looked at as well, down lower, but not Doge. Doge is not down at that lower mark. So, so, so that is good for Dogecoin. But where is this going to go forward? Well, we've got our good friend Ben Cowan into the cryptoverse. Uh, he's quoted on uh, Benzingo, Benzinga Crypto about. September may be the cruelest month for
for Bitcoin and Ethereum. The analyst, well, that analyst is Ben Cowan. And if you've watched him, he has been very bearish and he actually has a lot of money sitting on the side. He's had it for a while. He's still waiting for a big dip. And what is he saying? Historical trends point to a decline. Cowan highlighted there's a good chance Bitcoin could drop down and hit like 23,000 sometime in September. Further noted, the average return for Bitcoin in September has historically been negative 7%. So that's not so great. Pre-having year patterns, drawing parallels to 2019. That was the last pre-having year for Bitcoin went down almost 14 percent in and that was four years ago and for on the four-year cycles that's what Ben is comparing this to that doesn't mean that's what's going to happen but he's looking at history and if history tells us anything on crypto in these four-year cycles this might not be so great comparing Bitcoin's performance in 2023 to the average of between 2015 and 2019 again the four-year cycles Cowan predicted a similar lower low in September. So that's that 23,000 mark. Also for Ethereum, Ethereum often considered a leading indicator for Bitcoin has already shown signs of weakness by putting in a lower low. Ben suggests assets slightly riskier than Bitcoin and Ethereum could provide some in insights into Bitcoin's future movements, but the markets are unpredictable. Although Ben has this bearish outlook for September, it's unpredictable. We don't know. Again, looking back at 2019, this could be a decline toward the end of the month of September and that these similar patterns as they play out every four years, that's what that's pointing to. So no guarantees in the crypto market. This year has been a year of ups and downs of which Ben says, both the bulls and the bears get wrecked, particularly if you're you're trading with leverage and you're shorting. There's been a lot of wreckage happening for those. That's why we just DCA. We do our DCA portfolio. We buy a little bit three days a week, put it in there. Yes, I'm, I'm a trader and I try and catch the dips. Don't always get the best dip, but that's what we're doing. I want to share, though, the profits that we have in this portfolio if the four-year cycles actually play out in about a year and a half and from now, we're going to be sitting on a big profit on our shared portfolio, and I'm going to share those profits with you guys. How do you join in and become part of that? Check out my live stream Friday night, 10 o'clock, or I'll be on on Monday, next Monday at 5 and Wednesday at 5 as well when we talk about all of that and actually buy crypto. Sometimes we buy live. Sometimes I wait for the dips, but you need to join my YouTube channel to be eligible to get those profits. So I look forward to seeing you. Please be sure, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the markets right now, what's happening with this decline. Back where we were, that's where we are going forward. We'll see how the weekend plays out. We'll be talking about that Friday night. Give the video a like and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do always appreciate the support we'll see you next time